assignments are a perfect way to have your students complete work and turn in something online without using any paper. It's very simple. First thing is you want to click on the assignment icon. Give your assignment a name. And you may want to describe your assignment or provide some instructions. Usually what I do is I put see attached. If there's any special instructions you may want to mention that. You want to assign a due date and you may want to attach directions. It's better than making a thousand photocopies. Click on open and then I want to send it to the class that is going to complete this assignment which will be UDL class June 2013. Now, If you want to schedule this post for later you can or you can click send. So what does this look like from the student's perspective? Well, let's take a look. As a student, I see the assignment right here. And then I also see a couple other things. I see a notification right up here that there's an assignment due. And I can go through and I can look up this information. Or I can go back to my class. Let me go back to my class here. And see everything that has been posted up to this point. There's also the calendar feature right up here, the planner. When I click on that, I can see for an entire month or for the entire week when an assignment's due. A lot of kids, what they'll do is they'll actually set Edmodo up where they can receive a text message when an assignment is due. It's very, very simple to do, and we can talk about that at another point. But let's say that I wanted to look at my directions. I can download my directions here, or I can just simply preview them and take a look at what the assignment is all about. When I've completed the assignment, I click on Turn In, and I simply upload my assignment. I'll click on the word File, I'll put my assignment, click Open, and then I have to give my instructor a reaction. Let's say this is really boring. And then I click on Turn In. It'll upload to Edmodo. And the great thing is, is that kids can turn this in multiple times. So for instance, if I made a mistake and I needed to resubmit my assignment, I could click resubmit assignment right here. So back to the instructor view. I'm back as an instructor and I have a couple notifications to help me as an instructor know what's going on. I see right here there is one turned in assignment. I can see that I turned it in um, as a student. And I can also go back to my main view. Let me go back to my main view here. I can click on this right here. It tells me how many assignments have been turned in. And I can see all of the students in my class and all the assignments that they've turned in. When I click on this particular student, which is ironically is me, I can see what time they turned it in. I can see their assignment, which I can download if I'd like. I can give them a reaction. I can type in a comment. And even teachers uh, that I know are attaching rubrics with the file feature right here and then clicking add comment. I can even add a grade which is very helpful to give feedback instantaneously to students. So I give them a 10 out of 10 and then click grade.